Welcome to the Working with Widgets training. I will give step-by-step -step instructions on how to create different types of widgets and how to place them on your website to promote your services and books. You can also use our widgets on your website to promote programs and events or for virtual browsing like Riverside Public Library does here. Click on a graphic to be taken to the appropriate newsletter allowing patrons to discover new titles. For example, adult fiction titles A through F. Clicking on that graphic will take you to the newsletter that corresponds to that category. Or you can use our widgets simply as graphics that you post to social media. Widgets are created under the admin section of Library Aware. Only users with the administrator user role are able to access all of the admin section and create widgets. There are two different types of widgets that you can create in Library Aware, widgets and newsletter widgets. Widgets let you post information about books, events, and e-resources to your library's website. You can also use them as digital signage on the screens inside your library. Here, Romero Public Library's widget highlights announcements and different events. And here, on a second example, Greenwood County Library System uses a widget to promote online resources and services. Newsletter widgets, which are sometimes referred to as book rivers or book carousels, let you display book jackets from the NextReads newsletters or newsletters that you have created onto your website. Here, Hamilton City Libraries showcases new junior books on their website. And then Bloomington Public Library uses a multiple book jacket widget with a detailed view to showcase their NextReads newsletters. Newsletter widgets also allow you to embed a newsletter issue like the Tween Reads example seen here on Washington Centerville's Tween Reads page. You can also use newsletter widgets to display archive links to your website as seen on Houston Public Library's website for kids, tweens, and teens. Clicking on the links will open up past newsletter issues. This will give patrons who haven't signed up for your newsletters a glimpse into what they're missing out on and might inspire them to click on your opt-in page and sign up for newsletters. To create a widget to promote your events, you will first need to create a widget container. The container will house the widget templates that you create in the editor. Click on the question mark icon at the top right of the screen to be taken to our help pages. Then in the search bar, you can type in the phrase widget container to find a chart of the maximum and minimum size pixel requirements for a widget container based on the aspect ratio. So go ahead and click on how do I create widget containers to hold my promotional widgets. And if you scroll down, you will find the chart with the minimum and maximum size requirements for widget containers. All right. And then once you have figured out the size of your widget container, you'll want to go back to library aware and click on the admin link at the very top of your library aware screen. On the left hand side, then click on widget settings and then widgets at the very top of um, the section under widget settings. And then you will want to click the orange create button. Then create new widget form will show on the page. You'll want to enter the name for your widget. 
for example, you could type in library events and then in the display time field, type in or use the arrows to select the time and seconds that you want each slide to show. Click on the show navigation checkbox if you would like to allow viewers to pause and advance the slides. Now you can select the aspect ratio, the container size, box at the bottom of the form will adjust to reflect the new aspect ratio. Okay, I'm going to leave at, at one to one. And you can actually resize this container size box to fit the exact space on your website. And you can enter a number in either the width or the height field, or you can scroll down and actually drag this corner, bottom right corner of the box with your mouse until the box is the correct size and your aspect ratio will be maintained. Okay, let me actually go ahead and make this, type it in, make it 300 by 300, and then click Add Widget at the very bottom. All right, here I see it, Library Events. And now you'll need to add the widget container to your website. From the widget setting page, click the Setup Instructions link next to the widget container. So I find my widget container library events, and then I click on the setup instructions. Here you will see the step-by-step -step instructions for adding the container to your website. You can send these links to your webmaster or follow the instructions to add it yourself. And now that you've created your personal, your promotional widget container, you can create your widget slides and publish them in the container that will show up on the website. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our folders and I will go down to the folder that um, where I want to save my items. I'll just click on digital signage and let's see if I'm looking for a new slide, I can click on create item and um, I can actually refine my format by widget or I can even type in the aspect ratio to find just widgets with the one by one aspect ratio. And then that will show all of the one by one widgets. I can also add additional keywords to further narrow my results. For example, adding in the phrase virtual book club as a keyword. And then once the results pop up, I can select the template that I would like to use. Um, let's say that I like this first one, join our virtual book club. I'm going to click the create button to open it in the editor. And you can make any changes just like you would with our other template formats. I'm going to zoom out so I can see more of this widget. And let me just fill in some text to say that this virtual book club meets online every Monday at 7 p.m. All right. And let's see if I wanted to change this um, book flyer or book jacket, I could click on the book jacket and then clip click on the swap image icon at the very top and go over to book jackets and say that I'm looking for the book, the proposal. And let me search by title. Okay. I could even um, maybe make it a little easier on myself and search by author. All right, and we'll click on see the proposal and I will accept. And if I wanted to resize that image, I could make some changes that way. Okay, if I wanted to add in additional text boxes, I could drag them from the side. Or if I wanted to add additional images, I would drag them from the left sidebar as well. But I'm going to go ahead and click save. And I will call this virtual book club widget slide and hit save. All right, and then I can go ahead and click this upload button or publish button. And you can see that website widget is at the very bottom. I'll click that option. And this will take me um, to the menu where I can select the date and time in which I want the slide to appear. Okay. So if I want to publish it immediately, I could choose that radio button. Um, if I wanted to make it in the future, 
say I want it to start publishing next week, Monday at, let's say, 10 a.m. And this is optional, but I could also add in an expiration date. So for example, if I was just publicizing a one-time event, I would need to add in the expiration date so that the widget would be removed um, after the event is over. Okay, and then here under Configure Widget, I can click on that drop-down menu. And here's where I will select the container that I want the slide to be in, which is Library Events. And this drop-down menu will actually only show the containers that match the aspect ratio of my slide. So it will only show me the one by one um, widget containers that I've created. Okay, if I want um, to add in an edit link, I can do that. So that way when a patron clicks on that image, um, they'll be taken to a specific link. So I'll just go ahead and put in an example link here, click okay. And here I can put in alt text for the image. And this descriptive text will appear when the patron is not able to view the image. Virtual book club widget slide. And then I can also add in information about um, virtual book club meets Mondays at 7 p.m. OK, and then I can also check this box to be emailed when delivery of this is complete. And then I will go ahead and click the Save Publication Event. All right, and you can see that this will be scheduled for this specific date. Um, I can view the details. I can view it online. Um, and then if I do change my mind and I don't want to add it, I can delete that scheduled post. OK, now the slide will appear on the website, though it may take up to 30 minutes for any changes to appear. Um, and you can clear your cache or preview the widget to see the changes immediately. Let me go back to my folder. If I have already created um, widget slides that I wanted to add to a widget, I can even add the widget from this folder menu. I'm going to click on the expand um, menu here, and then I can just click add to widget and it will take me to that same scheduling page as before. So this time I can say I want to publish this immediately. Um, pick the library events widget I created. Um, if I need to, I can edit or add that link and I can add in um, a longer alt text if needed and then click save publication event. All right, and then to take a look at it, I can go back to admin Go back to widget settings, and then under library events, I can view the posts that have been added. And so there's one post because the uh, second slide has not yet um, been added. It is scheduled to be added um, next week. All right, so that was creating a widget and a widget container. So next, let's talk about how to create a newsletter widget. So again, you'll go to the admin section click on widget settings, and then you'll click on the newsletter widgets link under the widget settings on the left. Click the create button to see the different layout options of newsletter widgets that are available to create. When you click on the thumbnail, a preview of that particular layout will display. The multiple book jacket with detail view will show a row of jackets across the bottom with a larger area for detail on a selected title. The single book jacket layout will display one rotating jacket at a time. A multiple jacket layout will display and rotate as many book jackets as you would like. Next, the newsletter widget will display the content of a particular newsletter issue on your website. And then finally, the archive links widget will display links to archived newsletters on your website. So let's go ahead and create a widget with multiple book jackets. All right, I've selected that layout option, and then you can click on the configure your widget button. And widget options will vary for each layout. Here you can enter the name and select the newsletter list that you want to pull book jackets from. Let's say um, we're going to do new, um, we'll do fiction, fiction releases, and then here we can select the newsletter list. So I can choose uh, fiction A to Z. And if I want to add additional newsletter lists, I can. 
let's say if I wanted to add the New York Times fiction bestseller, and if I also wanted to add horror, I could do that. And then if I change my mind, I can click on the X to get rid of one of those newsletter lists. And the newsletters for multiple and single layout widgets must contain book or AV records. And if you would like a header for your widget, you can click on the checkbox to open the editor. And then you can choose whether your items will link to a newsletter issue or to the catalog. Here, I can select the scroll direction, left to right or top to bottom. If you are choosing the single book jacket, um, you will not see this option for scroll direction since it is only one jacket at a time. Here, you can adjust the transition duration in seconds and also the display time. Wanted to make that a little bit longer. And then here's where you can also choose the maximum number of items to display. Maybe I'll bump that up to five book jackets. You can also adjust the book jacket spacing here in pixels. Um, just know that adjusting the jacket spacing and the number of jackets will change the size of your widget. Um, you can also choose whether or not to show navigation. And then you'll go ahead and click Save. All right, so that was called Fiction Releases. And then you'll want to click the Setup Instructions link to preview the widget and also, again, see those instructions for how to add it to your website. And please note that the newsletter issue does need to have been published before the titles will show up in the newsletter widget. If it is um, a newsletter issue that you have not sent out to patrons yet, you can email it to yourself to publish it that way. Great. Thanks so much.